One of the great things about television as a medium is you get the opportunity to tell this story for a long extended period of time. What were you most excited about further exploring with your character in season two? And what can you tease about their journey? I mean, do you want to kick us off? Um, all right. I, I think the thing that I was the most excited about for um, like what I could do with the character when I come back, when I came back was I think just expanding what I'd already sort of done in the first season. And even, I think I've, as an actor, improved a lot since the first season. So I was pretty excited to, um, to go back and to be able to, to come back to the role with um, more, I guess, skill. I, I think um, I, was, I was, I think, 14 when we started. Um, so going back, being a little older, I'd say a little wiser. Um, I was, it was exciting to revisit. Uh, I would say one of the things I was most excited about is just seeing the sticky change uh, in the in the in the in the script. I was uh, really hoping to see that we can we can see sticky have more of a uh, a bigger cadence and hold himself higher. And I'm really excited for his arc to see if sticky changes and what happens if sticky does change. Will he like if if giving is sticky giving if giving sticky more confidence bad? Or is he better being a more reserved person? Hmm, great teaser. I mean, this is like you were saying earlier, this is the longest that you've actually lived with a character. Has anything surprised you about the experience? What's been your favorite part thus far? I think um, all the friends that I've made on set is probably my favorite part. Um, I definitely love being the character and it's, it's a lot easier playing the character that you've played before, I'm finding. Hmm. Uh, it's because I've, like you said, I've never really had a recurring role for this long before. So getting to play a character that um, I get to sort of like sit with for a while, um, it, it makes it a lot easier to to get back into character. And to, it, it's sort of like, it's like, just like that. It's like, um, I can just like get right into character. Um, and that definitely makes it a lot easier just being on set. Um, and then, of course, with all the friends that I've made on set with the, the cast and with the crew. Um, yeah, it's amazing. It's it's definitely, it's definitely new for me. Great answer. Speaking about friendship, Seth, how were you all able to build that bond while filming during a pandemic? Uh, I mean, it was definitely hard, you know, definitely for the first season because we never met each other before. This is new. Uh, but gradually... Um, we, you know, through all the pandemic and through all the mask and the uh, dividers, <laughs> we actually, uh, we actually had a cool connection going. Um, and definitely from the second season, without all that, it was even better. Uh, even better be able to like talk to each other. You know, it felt it felt more not as like, oh yeah, you're more of like, oh yeah, you're my coworker. Like no, like yeah, you're my friend. Yeah. And so I got one final question for the both of you. If you could play another character on the show, who would it be and why? Um, Curtain. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, like, <laughs> I love the villain. I'm, yeah. I always, so... I always love playing villains. I was in musical theater a bit um, when I was a little bit younger, and it was almost every production that I did, I was the villain. So... Actually, I take that back. I'd rather be uh, Constance. I want to see how it is to be have a have a, a Constance's a Constance's dry humor, dark humor. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to play. 